Well, good morning, everybody. Happy Tuesday to you. It's Tuesday, July the 6th. And um, today we want to finish up in our morning check-in our look at the story of Jesus and, in fact, Peter walking on the water. Now, remember that water walking is a picture of doing with God's help what you can never do on your own. And we've already seen there are two elements that are needed if we're going to do that. Number one, extreme discipleship, or you could say extreme obedience. Remember, Peter didn't just jump out of the boat. It wasn't a risk-taking adventure. Instead, Peter said, Lord, if it's you out there on the storm, tell me to come to you. And Jesus commanded, come, and that's when Peter got out of the boat. It was extreme obedience. That's what water walking is, folks. It's taking a step of extreme obedience. In other words, if you're going to step out of the boat, you better be sure God's called you to do it. That's what we're saying. But along with extreme obedience, number two, there was extreme faith. Think of the faith it took because of Jesus' command for Peter to step out of the boat into that storm. Remember, failure isn't the fact that Peter sunk. Failure is the other disciples who never got out of the boat. Now, there's a third one. And here it is. Ready? Not only does water walking require extreme discipleship, not only does it require extreme faith, but there's also a result. And the result of it is extreme worship. Extreme worship. Let me read verse 32 and 33. When they, that's Jesus and Peter, got into the boat, the wind stopped. Now think about it. The disciples who had just saw Jesus multiply a little boy's lunch to feed a multitude, and they just saw Jesus walk on water, and they just saw Peter walk a few steps towards Jesus on the water. Now they watch, and when Jesus and Peter get in the boat, boom, this storm that had battered them for nine hours comes to an abrupt halt. So what's their response? Verse 33, and those who were in the boat, worshipped Jesus, saying, You are certainly God's Son. What does water walking produce? A deeper connection with God. You see, everything hinges on this. Are you focusing on the storm? Or are you focusing on your Savior? Are you focusing on your storm or are you focusing on your Savior? Listen, let me make this statement. Last principle, ready? Every time you take a step outside of your boat, your God gets a little bigger. Every time you take a step out of your boat, your God gets a little bit bigger. You see, God allows storms to come into our life to produce spiritual growth. And it's through the storms, he reveals his power and his presence. And he prepares us for something extraordinary. Well, tomorrow we'll look at another story of Jesus by the lake. I hope you'll share this on your Facebook page. And let me pray for you. So, Father, give us a good day today. A day in which we worship you. Because you certainly are God's son. And we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Please share it on your Facebook page. Have a good day.